In this specific video, you're going to learn how to use breadcrumbs to improve the navigation of your WordPress site. Breadcrumbs, if you're not familiar with, allow people a trail to follow back to the starting or entry point of a website. And you may or may not have heard of the concept of breadcrumbs. You might have seen in movies, you may not have. But normally what happens is if somebody goes, let's say for example, into the forest, and they don't really know their way back, so they begin to leave breadcrumbs for people to follow or for them to find their way back. So in this case, in relation to WordPress sites, that's basically how breadcrumbs work. So we're going to go ahead and install a specific plugin called the Breadcrumb Nav XT. So go on to your plugin section, click on Add New, and in the search box, enter Breadcrumb Nav XT. Click on Search Plugins. And this is the specific plugin, so go ahead and install and activate this. You'll want to enter your FTP username and password. Click on Proceed. And click on Activate Plugin. Now we can configure the settings of the Breadcrumb Nav XT plugin. At this point, go under the Settings section and click on Breadcrumb Nav XT. At this point, you can configure your general items, your current items, your posts and pages, your categories and tags, and much more. So right now, I'm going to walk you through it step by step so you'll understand how to configure it correctly. Now, right now, you'll see the breadcrumb separator, and you're going to see this specific sign here. What this sign looks like is a greater than sign. By default, this is what it looks like, and that's probably the best breadcrumb that you want to use. Now, if you want to use a different breadcrumb, you can enter something else right here. You can also change the maximum title length if you want to. Zero means that there is no limit. So we're going to leave it as zero. For the home breadcrumb, you can also place the home breadcrumb in the trail. And you can change the title of the home if you want to. In this case, we're going to leave it as it is. Home template. This is the template for the home breadcrumb. We're going to leave it as it is. This is a link. And here is the home template unlinked. And what that means is if you don't link the home template, this is what it's going to look like. And we're going to leave the blog template and the main site template as they are. We're going to go ahead and click Save Changes. And under the current item section, you can link the current item. So for example, somebody is viewing a post then in the breadcrumb, they're going to see the post title. In this case, we're going to leave it unchecked. And by default, we're going to leave everything else unchecked. For the post and the pages templated sections, we're going to leave it as it is, as well as the categories and tags, and the author, date, and search templates. Now, what I want to do next is to show you how to add it into your template. Now, keep in mind that for some templates, you're going to automatically see breadcrumbs. But if you go to your live site and you don't see the breadcrumbs added to a post or a page, as you can see here, I'm going to show you how to edit the theme so that you can add a breadcrumb at the very top of your post or your page. What we're going to do now is hop on over to google.com and search for breadcrumb 
NavXT and go ahead and click on the top link here. Click on installation and click on the please visit breadcrumb NavXT project page. So what we're looking for is a piece of code. So under basic usage, you'll notice that we have a div tag here. And the reason why I wanted to show you how to get to this page is so you don't have to remember exactly what code you have to add to your theme. In this case, all we need to do is highlight this code from div tag to the end of the other div tag and right click and copy. Now we can edit our theme. So if we go under the appearance section and click on editor, we're looking to edit two different files. The first file is called page.php and you're going to notice a link for page template. So click on this and you're going to look for the keyword that says content. You don't need to know anything about web code or anything locate the keyword that says content. So as you can see, there's a line that contains this keyword here. So what you need to do is simply copy the code right above that line. So in between these two, you're going to make a new line and simply paste the code. You're going to update the file. This way we have added the breadcrumbs to the page template. Now what we want to do is add it to the single post. So you're going to notice single post, single.php, and you're going to go ahead and click on it. You're going to do the exact same thing that we did previously. You're going to look for the keyword content again, and you can do a search for content. And you'll notice that the first content piece is here. So we need to do the exact same thing we did earlier and copy the code in between and below, above this line here. So enter that, paste that here, click on update file, and we've successfully added breadcrumbs to posts and pages. Now I'm going to go back to the live site here and I'm going to open a brand new page. And I'm also going to refresh this post right here. Now, as you can see, a breadcrumb has been added to the very top. So now when a user wants to go back to the category before that or back to the home page, they can easily do that. And as you can see under the pages template, I have the sitemap page and the home page. So if I choose to go back, I can simply click on this link. So if you had more categories like categories, parent categories, subcategories, and so forth, you would see everything right above the actual headline. So that's how to add a breadcrumb to your posts and your pages.